well, the holidays are coming and we definitely want to be successful. Yes, we do. So it's a successful holiday where you get every little present you ask for. Yes, and that's what it is. No. <laughs> successful holidays. It's Hunt for Wellness. Episode number 121. Mind, body, and spirit. Living your best life. It's Hunt for Wellness with John and Christy Hunt. Hello, welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines, great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. Okay, well, the holidays are coming and we definitely want to be successful. Yes, we do. So it's a successful holiday where you get every little present you ask for. Yes, and that's what it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, of course, there's a lot that goes into it. By the way, if people want to um, find out some holiday gift ideas, we just mm-hmm. did a podcast on that. Right. So check it out over at huntforwellness.com. It's called Holiday Gifts for 2023 or something similar to that. Yeah, something like that. Awesome. Okay, so mm-hmm. what is success? Okay, well, <laughs> you know, even happy events like holidays can have a lot of work mm-hmm. and preparation. And so that can cause people to be a little stressed out. Or if people are really busy in their regular life, just normally, yep. like very, very busy. Um, adding on a holiday can feel like too much. Oh, yeah. You know, or let's say you're sick or someone you love is sick. That can add on. That piles on the holiday stress as well, doesn't right. it? Right. Or ho- relationship stress. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. But, you know, whatever that may look like, um, that can add to it. And our life are not perfect. Right. And they never are. And the holidays are never going to be perfect. Right. Right? <clears throat> but we want the perfect decorations and we want the perfect gifts and the perfect yeah. wrapping. We yes, put all no. these expectations on ourselves. Yes. Right? Let's not do that. Okay. Let's not do that. Let's focus on the most important things. Awesome. First things first. Okay. Okay. What are the most important, important parts of the holidays? Yeah. Well, I would say like relationships. Yeah. You know, um, seeing, yeah, of course, focusing on that Christmas holiday and Thanksgiving, even thanking God yeah. for all the things that we've been blessed with. Right. So, yes. Right. Um, Hanukkah. Mm-hmm. The focus is God and what he's done. Yes. And, and the people around us. That's right. Yeah. I mean, so that's got nothing to do with gifts other than the gifts that God has given us. Right. So yes, I love that. And we have a tradition of giving gifts, yes. which is great and sweet and wonderful, but sometimes it can get out of control. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we can focus on the wrong things like, yeah. you know, the how pretty is the wrapping paper and the decorations and is everything perfect? Remember when you were a little kid, did you ever like ask for a certain gift for Christmas and, and then didn't get it and were kind of a little upset? I don't remember. <laughs> Do you? No, it was a long time ago. So no. I um, remember I probably... getting a requested gift and was so happy. Oh yeah. I Baby too. tender love. Aw. <laughs> I remember when I got my first drum set. I was so excited. Yes. So those are special those are things. Good memories, and but, uh, you probably don't remember what was the food that you ate and were no. the decorations lovely and Right. You remembered that your parents loved you yes. and got you something special you really wanted. Yes. And that is is what children remember. Uh-huh. So. Well, that would be a success, just having good family relations and not, you know, being at each other's throats. It would. You know? It would. Absolutely. So envision, take some time to sit down and think about how you want your next few months to go yeah. through the, through Thanksgiving through Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's, and even into January. Yes. How do you want these, uh, the times to go? Um, what do you want things to look like? How can you have a good time with the people that you love 
and make it make it good even though it's not going to be ideal it's yeah. not going to be perfect mm-hmm. is there some place you want to go is there some place you don't want to go <laughs> right is there some people you want to be with is there some people that you don't want to be with mm-hmm. um and also if let's say you're in a season that is completely different from the past mm-hmm. things have totally changed and um it feels kind of painful because it's different. Yes. How can you make that good? Who could you reach out to? How could you maybe serve in this situation? You know, mm-hmm. serve the homeless, serve the elderly. Um, what could you do? This is a time to completely reimagine the ho- holidays for yes. you. Yes. I you love know? it. And maybe there's a bunch of people who are um, alone. And you can be a gathering place for several people mm-hmm. or to, or you've got just some empty places at the table and you'd like to fill them with other people, you know, who would love to be part. Yes, I love it. Of your gathering. So put on Envision essential oil and take courage to plan. You know, planning mm-hmm. is important and often it's overlooked. Right. They say that if you plan out your day, you usually gain about two hours. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That is great. By planning ahead, uh, literally planning a week week ahead, right. you know, for your week. But um, think about planning the next few months and how that can, that can work cool. for you. I love it. Yeah. And also when you gather your family, what can you do together? Yeah. Come up with something that everyone can enjoy yeah now like in our family we can't decide on a movie because there's never one movie that we all like right so uh, we have to do something else play Mm -hmm. games right and when kids were little we did bingo yes because everybody could play bingo even the littlest one could like pick the little bingo pieces up and say them yes or even just pick them up and not say Mm -hmm. so aim to do things that everybody can participate in at least some at least some things that everyone can participate in but think also about outside activities oh yeah skating or skiing or walking or some of that for and those then, of you that are in the tundra like we are yeah right not everybody's here but um <laughs> also, go to the beach if you're down south yes that's a super fun place mm-hmm. um also how Take some time to refresh yourself and add that into mm, your schedule. Self-care, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, we had a podcast on self-care, didn't we? Yes, we a did. A while ago. I don't know what number yes. it is. Well, we'll link that in the show notes over at huntforwellness.com. But definitely, uh, that was a really popular one, too, because, you know, that's what a lot of people just don't take care of. They, they're so busy taking care of everybody else, they don't take care of themselves. Exactly. So take some time to take care of yourself. Right. Like plan a raindrop t- mm-hmm. technique trade with a friend. Mm-hmm. You give that person one and they give you one. Yes. Take a hot bath with lavender or the stress away bombs or mm-hmm. um, something like that. Put joy over your heart and mm-hmm. hope yes. on your wrists. Oils, you mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah, hope yeah. essential oil, joy essential yes. oil. Yes. And then be hopeful and joyful. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. And I love to read. So what do you want to read this season? Ooh, get those books. Check them out early. Yeah. Or go yeah. buy them. Yeah, right. And have some time to read each day. It is so refreshing, actually, to your mind and your body mm-hmm. to just take a little break. You can carve out 15 minutes in your day. And read. Right. Are there any oils that you use to help you read? Well, there's clarity. Okay. There's brain power. Mm. Frankincense. Yeah. Lemon. Doesn't that can help you concentrate? Yes. 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 So, Those yeah. are good. So and enhance just, your reading experience. Calming would be lavender. To just help calm down, let it go. Release. Yep. Yes. Release. Release the day for just 15, 20 minutes of reading. It is, you're going to love it. Mm-hmm. You're going to love it. Or have an anxious drink. Yeah. It's always fun. Absolutely. Prepare as much as you can before. So put on your brain power and your motivation mm-hmm. <clears throat> and um, plan those menus that you need. Maybe make some of the food ahead of time. Um, 
If you're hosting people for several days, plan the menu for several days. Yes. And also, if you're hosting people, have other people bring stuff. You don't have yes. to provide it all. Right. So. Right. And if you're going somewhere on a trip, try to think of activities you can do beforehand or do some research beforehand mm-hmm. about it. Um, Christmas gifts, plan early, shop early, get ideas from those you want to buy for. Yep. Maybe doing several of the same gifts yep. to if you've got like sisters or brothers, giving all them the same. So And go again to huntforwellness.com <laughs> yeah. and view that. Uh, I think it's episode, uh, is it 119, which is uh, on the gifts for 2023. Great gift ideas, and you'll get a bunch of ideas, healthy ideas, mm-hmm. you know, things that have purpose and value. Yes, absolutely. Gather support. Mm-hmm. That's another important thing. Have people to help, like John yes. was just saying. Like if you're making meals, Thanksgiving, Christmas, ask people to bring things. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it all. No, and maybe you, know. you need to buy some things yeah. um, or have them buy them. Use the abundance essential oil Mm -hmm. that you have plenty, you have abundance. And then um, also asking other people to pray about the situation. Right. And that's the next thing. And ask for help when needed and tell people what you need. Yes. You know, if you need more help, let's say cleaning up, ask the people to help. And maybe ahead of time you ask for that help. It's easier than in the moment. Um, Spend more time in prayer over the Mm -hmm. event or situation. This alone will help tremendously. Yes. Um, I have gotten in the habit of praying before every gathering I go to. And I've just found it works so much better Mm -hmm. than when I don't. And even even praying for prayer meetings. Right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they go so much Perfect better prayer. when I pray for them. Yep. But praying for family gatherings is wonderful for holiday parties, mm-hmm. good connections, conversations. Um, when For prayer, use frankincense, use sacred mountain, mm-hmm. myrrh, the oils of ancient scripture yes. are great to use. And then eat healthy. Mm-hmm. To have a successful Good holidays. Yes. Organic. And distilled water. Yes. <laughs> distilled water, organic food, free range meats. Yes. Um, and it all costs a little bit more, but, you know, uh, your, your health life. is very uh, worth it. Yeah. Like if you don't take care of your body, where are you going to live? Mm-hmm. You need to live in your body, so it needs to be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then if you did not eat the best foods, digize. Yes. Helps oh, yeah. Balance out that gut. Life nine, probiotics. Yes. Because there are a few foods around the holiday times that maybe don't qualify as um, Health healthy. Food. They right. might be good, but they're not healthy. Right. So not it's okay to have some of that. Yeah, Just moderation. Have some fun. Absolutely. And drink your Ningxia Red. Mm-hmm. Like we're drinking right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then plan to get adequate sleep. Yes. Really aim for eight hours a night. Yes. Don't run yourself ragged. Right. More. In fact, sleep. You need more sleep Mm -hmm. when there's stressful times. But let me tell you, if you plan well and do your preparation beforehand, it's going to be a more happy, less stressful time. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, great. Well, this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that provide great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. And let's get ready to plan some fun holiday parties and food. And it just sounds so festive here. Cheers. Here's to the holiday season. Yes. All right. And we'll see you on the next episode of Hunt for Wellness. Thank you for listening to Hunt for Wellness. If you'd like your free 15-minute consultation, head over to huntforwellness.com and come back next time for Hunt for Wellness.